Hello, it's been a while since we had internet clocks. Here I made few internet clocks and I'm planning to give them to my friends. Only few of my friends know about this channel. I don't talk about this channel a lot because in past few friends reacted badly. So this is practically only few good friends knows that what I'm doing. Rest are very confused. So my plan was to give uh, I hate to buy gifts, so my plan was to make unique internet clock for each of them. These are few examples made for M5 stack atom. You can download this example from description. And here is this gorgeous clock made for LilyGo T Display S3 AMOLED. You can also download this example. And here is another example which I will use to explain new code because this is bare bone example without any fancy graphics or something. This is plain TFT SPI library. This is also and this and this is Square Line Studio. So you can use this as template for Square Line Studio for M5 stack. Atom. So, I want to give this to my friend, I, but I don't want to hard code uh, any Wi-Fi data or time zones or um, offsets or I don't know. So basically, he need to be able to set up this by himself. Usually in every my example, SSID and password are hard coded, you can see here in code, but in this case I'm using Wi Fi Manager. I will explain you later in code how Wi Fi Manager works, but basically, if a board is unable to connect to Wi Fi, ESP32 will create another Wi Fi network, and name of that network will be Volos Wi Fi Conf, and you can connect to that network using password which is password you can set that in this part of code and soon you soon board is connected you will be re redirected to browser where you can enter your ssid and password data and those data will be stored in esp32 memory so so board will be able to connect without problem. I wanted to avoid um, hard coding because you never know, maybe my friend, I can ask him Wi-Fi password, but maybe he will change his Wi-Fi network. Maybe he will change his uh, internet service provider. Maybe he want to use this in garage where he have where he's stealing neighbors internet maybe 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 he want to use this in um, another time zone so i wanted to avoid this usually i uh, use ntp server you can see this in code but here is also time zone and uh, this offset is hard coded so i decided to use API and here is that basic API I'm talking about I can copy this directly in browser and it will give me this response so this is simple API which will give me my time zone and my time in this ISO format AP work based on my IP so it will know my time zone and time in my time zone <laughs> because it's now my public IP address. This is JSON format. I will need to use Arduino JSON 
library and I will need parse that JSON to get date time data. And that is practically all I need. And uh, sorry, and when I got this string, I can use substring to extract year, month, day, hour, minutes, seconds. But there is another problem, and which is this API have their restrictions. I can't just call this 100 times in one minute. If I call it more than one time per second, it will give me error. And if I call it like each one and a half second, seconds on my clock will not be correct. So solution is to use this only to set built-in real-time clock, which I also used a couple of times using this library. I will post all libraries in description. So we will need library, real-time clock object, and we will need this this function. So this is some kind of sorry, this is some kind of ISO format. I saw this many times and this is right now string. But uh, to set our real-time clock, built-in real-time clock, we need to convert these to integers, integers, to numbers. And this function will do that. It will convert this format to this to this uh, struct with integers, and it will use that to set built-in real-time clock chip. So basically, whole code is serial begin. We will init our screen. We will set the brightness, and we will use this part to set our, to connect to Wi-Fi. This part will manage all our connection, Wi-Fi manager. I already explained how it's working. Then we will call get time function, which will create HTTP client. It will call this it will try to go on this site and payload will be this. So now we need to extract this string from that uh, payload using JSON library. And now we can, well, now we need to convert that format in, into integers using this function I already showed you. Here are some serial print functions for debugging. Don't forget to set this to enable because without this serial will not work. And when we convert it to integers, we can set our built-in real-time clock using these numbers using that function. We have draw function which will draw content on the screen. One simple, in this case one simple function which will draw time on this coordinate with seven segment font. Built-in real-time clock chip in ESP32 is not most precise clock and each day it will lose one or two seconds. So after many days it can go quite wrong, but we will reset it. We will 
reset it each 1000 seconds. I think that is when 16 minutes. So each 1000 seconds we will set it again. So it will be perfectly correct and perfectly fine. And that's it. I hope you learned something. I hope this was useful. Don't forget to check code. There are uh, examples for each of these board. Don't for uh, there are also useful links, libraries and other things and in the description so don't forget to check this that and have a nice day. Please tell me did you watch whole video? I'm very curious because sometimes for me 10 minutes is too long for YouTube video but we are not all the same. Thank you and have a nice day. Goodbye.